Hello, it's Nico and I'm going to show you how I generate the procedural trees, rocks, debris and foliage in the project uh, walk. Um, this island is very huge. If you you want I can show you. This is a huge ice Iceland. There are plenty of beach. You see the city here? It's very small. It's not uh, possible to to plant the tree uh, manually, like in some games. You have to do it procedurally. And uh, so the train itself is uh, very useful because I'm using the here it's calm. I'm using the different texture on the terrain to de to to define which which kind of uh, vegetation is going to grow. So it's not very important to have a beautiful terrain itself because it will be all covered by the vegetation. That's why I'm not using uh, tessellation, for example. Uh, tessellation will will add a lot of small details, but all these details will be hidden uh, when all the vegetation is calculated. One place where uh, I don't want the tree to come is uh, on the cliff. So when the the slope is really hard, there will be no trees. Now there are a lot of different parameters. I'm not going to show you that. Um, one, parameters I one parameter is some trees or some vegetation, fo some foliage can grow only where it's green. Some have to can grow only when the slope is uh, is flat or when the slope is uh, between this degree to this degree, like between 20 degrees to 40 degrees slope. And uh, some can only be at the at, at a certain uh, aid like on the beach, some can only be under the water. So there are a lot, a lot of parameters and a lot of different trees and uh, grass. So for um, the reason of uh, optimization, there are different layers of uh, vegetation. This is the first layer. This layer is the, the grass type. This grass type um, is not taking in account the collision and is uh, generated procedurally close to the camera only close to the camera so it's not saved with the level otherwise there are millions of them it will be too complicated and too big to save it with the level so you can see if I go far away the the foliage disappear you can see it's about here and now it's gonna go be gone or Here we come. So when you are playing the game, you the, the player don't see don't see the the transition because it's too far away. Basically, it feels like there is a uh, millions of uh, small plants and and these are actually just around the camera. That's the first layer. The second layer is the big rocks. I put big rocks about everywhere randomly um, so that it makes the um, vegetation uneven so you don't have uh, like a flat vegetation everywhere where the rocks are the tree d cannot grow so it makes like holes in the forest it gives a little bit of uh, realism uh, another layer is the foliage foliage is the same things these things but it's more precise uh, more spread everywhere and also some forage have collision that's why they cannot be spawned around the camera I have also the small rocks they are mainly used to do some to to help to have some life inside the water otherwise the water is little bit uh, empty there are the debris. Debris are um, shells on the beach, for example, 
or palm, palm tree leaves, dead uh, trunks, stuff like this. There are palms, lot of different palm trees. I can show you how many. This is all the palm trees. There are 25 different uh, space species. Every palm tree have a lot of parameters, as you can see. So it's a lot of work to s to set up and uh, tune all of this. Actually, I'm always uh, touching a little bit and fixing stuff. So it's perfect. Um, so the palm trees are giving the um, the unique, uh, beautiful palm trees, banana trees, and vegetation that is really diverse. Uh, and uh, the mountain cover is the most important. It's uh, the very low, um, low polygons, very speed trees. When they are at a distance, they usually not made with more than 300 pil polygons. Sometimes it's only imposter, what we call imposter, that's at eight, only eight polygons. So in the distance, they are very, very optimized because there are plenty of them. And this is what is going to cover all the mountains. If I open this, you're going to see that there are a lot of them, 22 different species to give the diversity of the mountain. Let's spawn some uh, something. I um, will start with the big rocks. I need to start with what is going to cover the landscape the most. For example, if I was starting my calculation with the palm trees, then everything is going to be covered with palm trees and then the rock will not spawn because there will not be not space for the rocks. So let's go to, to spawn the big rocks. And I warn you, it's the, the some spawner are taking several minutes to get the result. So I will cut the video. So here I have some big rocks. Or oh, you can see there are not too many. If I select them, you're going to see where they are. There are a lot actually, but uh, it's because the island is really big. See? That's all the big rocks. Some big rocks are spawned uh, in, uh, in locations that are uh, problematic, like for example here. Always the same rocks, they spawn wh where the house are. So this rock is over the house, so I need to manually move it. And the rocks have uh, the blending feature. Or oh, you can see this this uh, this one has a lot of blending. I show the blending in another video. You see, this is blending. It's come from the terrain directly through the rock. Okay, let's go back to the beach. We're gonna spawn the small rock now. Up. Here we are. So the small rocks are just a few, it's gonna be quick. Here we are. So you can see now I have a lot of small rocks on the beach and under the water so that the water is not uh, empty. I didn't put any coral yet. Maybe I will put some plants and coral inside the water. I, it's not uh, essential for the game, so I will do it if I have time later. No, uh, what else? Um, let's uh, spawn the debris. Here we are. You have more rocks, by the way. Mm. I should fix that. These black rocks should not be here. Whatever. Look, we have a uh, small shells now everywhere. So, for example, about optimization, the debris. When I'm spawning my debris, if I take a shell, for example, I do not cast shadow. 
I do not enable collision. Um, on this uh, on this asset because they are not essential, they you don't need to cast shadows for shells. Everything is uh, important so that you save uh, the time and it's quick. No, we need to go to the next one. It's gonna start to change the foliage. So as I said. The foliage is, is a little bit the same as the, um, the grass, but with collision. And it's going to add a lot of uh, diversity here. Foliage, go. Here it is. So you can see there are new things like uh, this one it's not really uh, dramatic but have some flowers this one Oops. okay so now the most important is the mountain cover it's gonna change everything but the mountain cover takes like maybe two or three minutes to, to calculate so I will cut the Bingo! So here we are. As I said, it changed everything. Mountain cover is very, uh, is very powerful. But as you can see, there is no need of a uh, complex uh, terrain because the terrain is mainly all covered with the vegetation. So I saved some time not using tessellation I save some uh, some speed okay now the last one is the palms it's not, not only palms by the way it's the tree different uh, trees like 25 variety yes 25 variety of, of trees let's go Here we are. So now we have everything, all the vegetation on the island, and the island is covered with uh, millions, millions and millions of uh, trees and stuff. Um, if I run the game. Let's let's try to run the game. Uh, I guess. Okay. Well, the game is a little bit slow because, of course, I'm uh, recording the video. I have the editor behind, so it's a lot of things for my small computer. So you can see here the shells on the beach, the rocks that are blending into the... And uh, of course there is the collision, some, some have collision, some not have. Look the feet, look the feet of the character. Adjusting. Um, I can go look. There is a teleporter here that's a little bit hidden. Up. Now I am in the island. This is a little bit. Uh, that is a. Uh, we come from here. There, you can see. Um, 
there is a lot of lagging because of the video and all the stuff going on behind but when you run the game uh, full screen in uh, high uh, FHD you, you, are, you have 20 FPS all the time on my uh, 1060 so as you can see you can go look everywhere you have a lot of vegetation a lot of diversity this one is gonna work yeah it's working okay i'm in the city oh i have to clean some plants you see not everything is perfect this thing should not be here so uh, then i have to fix that This big plant is from the palm, so that's why the palm are very important because uh, it's adding some unique, uh, beautiful. This one's too small one. It's adding a lot of unique trees, and this is the mountain cover. These big trees. Mountain cover is uh, happening everywhere. I put a, a little bit of uh, relief on the light landscape. If I put uh, a bump, for example, the mountain cover will will pop up a lot of trees. Yeah. Uh, uh, start to rain, and the wind starting to. You can see the cable up there, and the flag is not static, so the wind is coming. Rocks. These rocks have been uh, born just before. Here's my river. Every everywhere you see, all the trees have been have been placed. Um, automatically in the rock too. That's it. I show you how I uh, start from uh, nothing to a fully uh, populated Iceland with a lot of trees and stuff everywhere. Even some birds. Thanks for watching.